Welcome to Kaichi Live. I'm Kaichi, and this is my recap on Dragon Ball Super Episode 79. So in this episode, we finally get to see uh, Majin Buu fight Basil uh, of the Universe 9 um, fighter in the Zeno ex Expedition match. So it has been a while since we um, see Maj Bu Majin Buu fight, and I almost forgot how strong, or well, when how how strong he is and how good a fight he was. The Buu saga ended over. 20 years ago, during the 90s, and it's 2017, so it has been a long time. Back to the fight. Uh, after Basil beat Boo to the ground, uh, Universe 9 Supreme Kai boasts how his his universe fighters are both ruthless and strongest, more powerful than the Universe 7 universe uh, where Goku and friends are from. As the fight goes on, Majin Boo found Basil entertaining because of his powerful kicks. On the Universe 7 side, most of them was worried whether or not Majin Buu can take on Basil. Especially Mr. Satan because he was worried whether or not Buu was taking this fight seriously. So he told, told, told him that he was out there to play. Goku made a comment about the Universe 9 fighters that they didn't go, go, give off any kind of energy or key. Since the Dragon Ball Universe are known for key, the measurement of how strong a fighter is. Gohan also commented that this is... Uh, it's unknown territory for them, since they can't find out how how strong they really are of the Universe 9 fighters. At this point, Goku asks the Universe 9 side to show them their true power in order to get Majin Buu more serious into the fight. The Blue Wolfman asks Basil to power up to show how powerful they are, really are. Basil do so by powering up his right leg into some energy glow. Then Basil attacks Majin Buu with his powerful kicks sending Majin Buu all over the fighting field. Then he at least two powerful attacks by shooting one NG ball from one of his legs toward Majin Buu. The NG ball was so powerful it was able to create shockwaves throughout the area of the, of the battlefield. At one point, Mr. Satan got hurt from the shockwaves. When the dust settled, we found that Majin Buu has a big cold in his middle of the stomach. This was surprising on the Universe 9 side because they had never met a creature like Majin Buu before. While all this happened, Zeno comments that it was really exciting and it was really entertaining. Majin Buu noticed the hole in his stomach and comments that Basil is becoming more entertaining and is having more fun with the fight. Majin Buu noticed that Mrs. Satan was hurt from the shockwave of Basil's attack and finally got serious. He self-fueled himself of his hole in his stomach and began attacking Basil. Most of Majin's boo attack was physical. He was throwing around Basil, Basil around, hitting him and slapping him. After getting beat by Majin Buu, Basil asked the Supreme Kai of Universe 9 to give him something in order to power up. Then we see Universe 9 throw him some kind of food to Basil and him eating it. Then we see him powering up. He became more bulky and, and have some kind of energy or aura around him. Beerus accused the Universe 9 side of cheating because they were using some kind of uh, item in order to power up. Universe 9 Kai, Supreme Kai comments back that they also did something similar, where Majin Buu self heal himself. Beerus comments back that it was Majin Buu's ability that is not a form of cheating. The priest of Zeno, with his father, comments that it was alright since it was an exhibition match and they could settle the rules for the power, torment of power later on. And the priest made a face towards Beers. This made Beers scared of him. The power of Basil then ass assault Majin Buu with his powerful kicks. Majin Buu became disordinated from the kicks of Basil. And then Basil began to attack from above. He started kicking Majin Buu in the head towards the ground. Then he unleashed his powerful attack, which he called Wolfkin Pressure, which is similar to Shining Blaster instead of two NG balls, he shoots out multiple NG balls from his feet toward Majin Buu. After he finished his attack, Basil once again declared that it was his victory. After the dust cleared, Majin Buu pops out. While this all this happened, Zen no, both Zen no, commented that it was surprising and exciting. The priest comments that both Zen no showed the air, so they are excited of the match. After Majin Buu pops out from the floor and the Universe 9 side so was surprised all of this, Majin Buu comments that Basil was powerful, but he said that he was more powerful. Throughout the fight, 
We noticed that Majin Buu opens, only opened his eyes when he was, he was serious. Then Majin Buu unleashed a powerful key attack at full power towards the power-up Basil. After the attack was finished and does so, we see Basil still standing. Like I mentioned before, it's been a while since we saw Majin Buu fight and it was common that it was him shooting that key blast at full power. Since we all remember that Majin Buu was quite powerful and Basil the power up basil was still left standing. Overall, this episode was a fun episode. We get to see Majin Buu fight again. We see how strong was how strong is the universe nine fighters, and we also get to see other see more of other characters of the other universes. We also find out more about the universe nine fighters. As I mentioned in the last recap, I thought basil was named after a form of spices, but in fact, it was named after a scent. One of the wolfmen with orange fur was named Lavender, which is a form of a scent. I also noticed the different personalities between the Universe 7 Supreme Kai with the Universe 9 Supreme Kais. The Universe 9 Supreme Kai is loud and arrogant, and the Universe 9 God of Destruction is more reserved and more concerning of what was going on. We also find out what was the wolfmen team was called. They were called Trio's Dead Dangers, proudly called by the Universe 9 Supreme Kai. When Goku and friends heard that name, they found it strange and thought it was lame. It is not the first time we have a group that is something similar to Power Ranger or in this case in Japan, Super Sentai. In the Freezer Saga, we are introduced with the Ginyu Force, which is something similar to Super Sentai. We also heard a glimpse from one of the God of Destruction, the female one, during the match between Basil and Majin Buu. During the fight between Basil and Majin Buu, when Majin Buu was attacked by one of Basil's energy ball and repelled it, one of the energy ball flew towards one of the universe sitting area, where we introduce another fighter from Universe 11. The Universe 11 we know as the God Destruction Joker and his trainer that looks like Harlan Quinn with the pigtails. The Universe 11 Supreme Kai Asked the fighter standing next to him to stop the attack. We see easily how the fighter easily stopped the attack by crushing the energy ball. We also find out his name. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I think it's called Topo or Toto. I'm not sure. That said fighter commented that the attack was disrespectful towards the gods. It seems that he's really powerful. I'm looking forward to see what he actually looked like. We only see a glimpse of his face, well actually his nose and mustache, which was white. So in the next match, we find out that Lavender, the orange wolfman, volunteers into the fight. And we see Gohan volunteering to fight and in the next match to see how powerful he is. In my previous recap, I mentioned the kill scene of Pan during the episode. There was also another funny scene in the episode, where the Supreme Kai from Universe 7 and Beers hug when Majin Buu won the match. This will be a fun saga, and I'm looking forward to for future Dragon Ball Super episode because we're gonna find out more about other fighters from different universes with different power set and different strength going against other different kind of universes. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button. Click over here to watch my previous video. Click over here to watch my previous recap on Dragon Ball Super, click over here to watch my next recap on Dragon Ball Super, and click over here to subscribe to my channel Kachi Life for future nerdy geeky videos. Thank you.